Hello learners welcome to learn microbiology Are you a graduate in microbiology and looking for a government job So here is a recent notification from the Bureau of Indian Standards In its advertisement for inviting applications for filling up its vacancies for various post Now what is this BIS BIS is the Bureau of Indian Standard for there are various posts mentioned here and if you are a student of microbiology you can apply for the post of technical assistant laboratory under the pay scale of level 6 and your maximum age limit can be 30 years there are total 10 vacancies out of which four is for unreserved and the other vacancies are for the reserved category now let us move ahead and go through this entire notification which is found in the op- official website of the bis so now if you want to apply what is the educational qualification that you need to have for the post of uh, technical assistant uh, so if you are applying under microbiology then you are supposed to have a bachelor's degree in science with microbiology as the main subject and you also need to have a minimum of 60% marks this is going to be average of your uh, bachelor's degree and if in case you belong to reserve category like sc and st then you can uh, apply even if you have a, a minimum of 50% marks now i am just focusing on technical assistant for microbiology discipline so if you are looking for any other particular post then you can go through this entire uh, pdf which this link you can find in the description box below so what kind of uh, exam you can have and what is the process of the require, recruitment so for that uh, for the post of technical assistant you have your exam in two parts the first you can have an online exam and second you have a practical or a skill test now this online exam will comprises of various sections as you can see in the screen there are total 150 questions for 150 marks and the time duration is 120 minutes that is 2 hours so this entire 150 questions is divided into four parts the first part is general uh, intelligence and reasoning in which you can have 50 questions and for a time duration of 40 minutes then the general awareness uh, 25 questions for 20 minutes and in english language 25 questions for 20 minutes then uh, the next part is will be concerning your particular discipline so if you choose microbiology so you will have the next 50 questions from the microbiology itself now all this paper you can have in both english and hindi that is only bilingual uh, except for the test of english language in this you can only have your paper in the english language and uh, the passing is 50% so if you want to uh, qualify for this online exam you should have uh, at least 50% marks so let's move ahead uh, they have also given some upper age relaxation for certain categories if you belong to certain cat of these categories then you can also apply for the age relaxations uh, as per your eligibility so i'm not focusing on the other posts so just you can just check if you are eligible through this pdf now examination centers there are around total of 49 centers uh, have been announced by bis so whatever state you may belong to and whichever is your preferable test center you can choose it and fill it in the application form uh, then cut up score as i already mentioned is going to be 50% uh, marks uh, uh, for the online exam as well as 50% for your practical or the skill test then uh, the candidates are supposed to carry identity proofs original as well as a photocopy with them you can have pan card passport driving license voter id and any of the other particular uh, of this verification or identity proofs are uh, you can uh, carry with it with you 
uh, then uh, when you apply for the exam see to it that the email id and the phone numbers that you provide will be active to the date of exam because all the admit cards and uh, all certain kinds of notifications and intimations will be sent to you through your registered mail id and your phone number and during the exam you are not allowed to use any kinds of mobile phones pagers or calculators so that is mentioned and uh, there is also rules for misconduct and unfair means is mentioned in this pdf so after you successfully apply uh, 10 days before your exam date you will receive the admit card in your registered mail id you are supposed to take a print out of this and also carry it during your exam in the exam hall now let's see how to apply so application process you have to visit the official website you have to click on apply online and this application is going to be of three parts uh, first part is application registration where you have to provide your email id phone number your name date of birth and some kinds of personal information and then you can click submit and you will get uh, you also have to create your password username and password you will get it and it will verify then um, payment of fees a certain students of, of like certain categories of students have to pay fees and for some categories uh, you have no fees so we will uh, discuss about that after few some time and uh, you also supposed to scan and upload certain documents so what all documents you need to upload uh, is you have to scan your photograph signature with black ink then you are left thumb impression in case you are not having a left thumb you can use your right thumb as well and then you have to have an hand written declaration on a white paper with a black ink and um, you can see over here what should be there in the declaration it's mentioned that i dash that's there you will have your name hereby declare that all the information submitted by me in the application form is correct true and valid i will present the supporting documents assignment required this is going to be the handwritten declaration that you are supposed to write on a white sheet of paper with a black ink and uh, importantly you have to write with your own handwriting please do not take the help of your friends or someone else uh, otherwise you your application can get disqualified then uh, let's go to the uh, application uh, date okay like your application is already started from 19th of april and uh, till the midnight of 9th may 2022 you can uh, go and apply so you have to hurry up uh, if you are willing to apply for this and the details step by step is mentioned uh, how to apply and all uh, and after you submit or uh, you need to complete the initial registration there will be a window for payment of fees so you can pay your fees online through debit card credit cards or your payment wallets as well as internet banking procedure and once your payment is done you have to take the print out of the e receipt and also the entire online application form you have to get it printed and uh, here you are provided with guidelines for scanning and uploading of the documents so you all have to read this carefully before you scan the upload the documents uh, so that you will not have trouble while uploading and uh, it will go on smoothly after that um, yeah payment of fees what is the about the fees so fees for the post of technical assistant or registration fees will be 500 rupees and if you belong to sc st pwds and you are a women or you are a bis serving employee then you are having a relaxation that is you do not have to pay any kind of fees so you can apply for this exam directly then comes the schedule uh, so the registration starts from 19th of april to the midnight of 9th may and uh, before 10 days of your exam you will receive your admit card now the online exam date they have not yet declared so it is uh, ten- will be tentatively in the month of june 2022 and they have also given some important instructions uh, which you are supposed to read then regarding penalty for wrong answers yes there is definitely a negative marking that will be 0.25 marks for each wrong answer so you will lose one mark for four wrong answers so if you answer four questions wrong you are going to lose one mark that's how it works and there are also many other rules that you can follow
so in case uh, you are applying for more than one post then you should also keep the thing in mind that it is possible that the exam for more than one post can uh, run simultaneously during the same session so you have to uh, take care of all that thing so there are some instructions for uh, candidates who are already in service or who is serving bis so in case it's applicable for you you can read this and if you are a person with any kind of dis- disability and you need a scribe then your instructions is provided for you and uh, what kind of uh, format you have to fill that's also mentioned that in the appendix you can see in the appendix a b you have to fill the print out of this fill it get uh, the proper signatures um and submit it it's also for the candidates of caste if you are claiming for sc st caste you have to give the caste certificate as mentioned here uh, similarly for backward classes and all and uh, in case you want to read this uh, entire notification in hindi so afterwards you can see it's also there in hindi so you can also read this entire document in hindi as well so that's all uh, the very short notice of what you can expect in the or a recruitment process of the bis to mention here you are definitely you can definitely go and apply for the post uh, you have to hurry up because the last set is 9th may midnight and um, read the entire document you can find its link in the description below so thank you all for watching this video if this video was helpful uh, hit the like button share it with your friends and also subscribe to learn micro balance thank you